Yes, um, oh, Anthea or Anita. There, so, uh, loads of DJ mixes out there that are fucking amazing. Everyone's doing great work, of course. But one that really stuck, stuck out to me recently that I've been listening to a lot was this boiler room set from a DJ called Anita, right? Um, she runs uh, a club night in, pa uh, sorry, in France called Blockhouse. Um, which is really popular with the scene over there. She's kind of spearheading um, the introduction of techno with some of her partners and they run some good parties. And she's one of the resident DJs there. And obviously, um, you know, me being a big Boiler Room fan, uh, the last one I went to was quite recently for the Young Bane show, but I've been to go to Boiler Room probably since it first started. Um, and, you know, I've always had some fond memories of the early days of it. But as some some people have noticed watching the videos online sometimes, depending on where it is, I'm not sure if it's the people that are there and I'm not sure if it's the setup, which makes you overly self-conscious because usually you have the dj in the middle and uh, with cameras kind of facing them and you can kind of you kind of know you might end up on youtube but usually the crowd is a bit dead right in boiler room events um it'll be an amazing dj playing you'll hit you'll probably hear the set sometimes audio wise sometimes you might hear it because you listen to it online or you might just watch the video you'll be like oh this dj is fucking smashing it why aren't people dancing more and it kind of bums you out sometimes right like people aren't letting themselves go but sometimes you know you can't blame them because you know they're in a boiler room arena they know they're getting filmed they're maybe a bit self-conscious but sometimes the crowd can be a bit shitty so but it was nice for a once to have like a dj playing who obviously got it who obviously was smashing it but also have a crowd that was fucking losing their minds and this set honestly this set like every bit you skip forward to in a video everyone is going crazy so i re highly recommend you check it out um and and anita i'm not sure i'm giving some pronounce name anita anita right playing at boiler room i think this is in amsterdam looks like a skate looks like a skate shop or something or skate store or skate arena i think so get up on here but yeah, it's an amazing, it's an amazing, amazing uh, set. Obviously, the setting helps. Boiler Room always smash it with kind of like alternative kind of places they get um, people just to play in arenas and stuff. So that's always a nice surprise. And just the setting, it being, I'm not sure if it's a skate shop, I'm not sure if it's a skate arena, what they say in the, in the description here. Uh, party at Skate Cafe, right? So I'm assuming it's like a, you know, a, a kind of hybrid space, cafe store and all that stuff, malarkey with a skate shop in it. but. Just in general, people were like, you know, raving on a ramp, everyone losing their minds, you know, it being a, a girl that looks cool, she's got a great outfit on, great rings, a lot of details. And one thing that I noticed watching the video, if you scan through, there's tons of girls in here, tons. I'm not sure, now again, I'm not sure if it's Amsterdam, a re Amsterdam electronic scene for the most part, or I'm not sure if it's Amsterdam because they just have more females there than guys do. I'm not sure if it's girls that go out. But if, I'm not, and I'm not sure, again, if it's to do with Anifa being a woman, and DJing right at a very high level that you know other girls too are going to come out and support their own I'm not sure if that's a thing I'm not sure if loads of girls go out and see Nina Kravitz or loads of girls go out and see Black Madonna I'm not sure if that's a thing if it is uh, someone let me know but I'm not sure but if it is a thing then I think that's fucking awesome and it kind of made me revise my idea when it came to you know the whole um, conflict with female DJs in the electronic music scene right female uh, especially in the last couple of years I've seen a lot of articles on resident advisors of um, uh, I think there's one in London actually a female based um, radio station that's kind of primarily you know it's not discriminating of course but it's kind of trying to uh, steer its programming amongst um, it towards kind of like promoting new female voices within the electronic music scene you see loads of club nights that only book females or people that identify as females you see all these kind of stuff going around right and sometimes there's a guy that's also a dj that's involved in the electronic community scene that runs his own night that DJs a lot uh, over the weekends you can sometimes get a little bit embittered sometimes and think oh that's annoying right why are they doing that because you know if, you, if you're good you'll get the chance anyway doesn't matter and sometimes you can feel like sometimes if you're a woman and you're fairly attractive or you have a good style that you're going to get much better opportunities than a regular dude's going to get anyway because you just have that you know you your 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 other gender that isn't maybe represented as well as it should be then you add on all the other kind of you know surface stuff it can obviously blow you up but then when you look at this video you can kind of say you know that's probably an immature point of view because what you're seeing is that what i saw when i went and maybe saw i don't know uh wbz right maybe play for the first time or you see maybe a dj ez play for the first time or maybe when you're just in, in a rave and you see people that look like you or you bump into another black dude at a techno party in berlin and you give yourself give each other a fist bump right there is something about there is something about going into a space and see people that look like you that makes you feel comfortable right that makes you want to come back again how much more so when you're in a in the nightclub or you're in a techno party and all you hear especially just sonically right you hear just a perspective of men right and it just and again it's just I've, I've seen it i've kind of reflected just watching this video this is the thoughts that came to my head and you're always you're you're hearing you're hearing this perspective of what a man thinks electronic music sounds like in an arena 
And you can't deny, I think anyone that goes out and has heard of really high level females play in nightclubs, you can't deny the difference when you go in and you hear females smashing it. There is a certain taste level, a certain aesthetic, a certain sort of sonic um, resonance going around the arena that could only be ascribed to the fact that this the person is coming is coming from their perspective of being a of being a female of being a certain age of being of a certain racial background being of a certain location and that's essentially what electronic music is about right this whole underground movement is about people from all these different areas all these different places around the world kind of congregating together underneath this umbrella of electronic electronic music right so we're, we're able to represent wherever we come from underneath this umbrella, which allows us all to come from the same place, right? We all feel at home when we go to these places. We don't feel ostracized, regardless of where you're from, um, what, what you're into, whatever it may be. And then I think maybe that's what it lends itself to this Anthea set. She's an incredible female DJ, and she's surrounded by a bevy of other female attenders there who are maybe getting inspiration from just seeing her play. They might not want to be DJs. They might not want to be anything to do electronic music, but just the fact that they're seeing somebody who looks like them fucking smashing in that arena is amazing and for the most part i think as a dude i think i don't give a shit like I, I think most guys don't care like if you're good at what you do and you're smashing it it's cool but i also think sometimes we can be a bit dismissive and think oh if you're good you're just gonna get a chance anyway i don't think that happens i think most clubs most festivals always program their things quite safe right they look at people's uh, instagram photos they look at how people big their people are releases blah, blah blah and that's how they book the events they don't usually take chances on djs regardless of um gender they don't take a chance on djs anyway they don't take a chance they won't take a chance on somebody that isn't well known they'll take they only go for the people that they know of so imagine if if you're only going to people that you know of and they only, and you're only choosing from a pool of people that are 90 percent going to be male of course you're not going to get female representation there and any place that you go especially outside and it comes to music for the most part it's made better when you have you know a, a mix of genders there it's not made better when it's just like a complete bevy of dudes unless you know it's like a pride month or whatever it may be it's quite cool to go to nightclubs and have like you know it it be mixed up for the for, for the most part and represent the music that people are listening to for the most part. So I think it's quite nice to see this whole kind of drive in order to get more female DJs involved or to get them booked in more big festivals. But because I'm sure there's loads out there, I don't believe that there's not enough. There's not enough female DJs out there to to put on the night. There's loads of them out there. You just have to give them the opportunity, allow them to know they have permission. To play in these arenas sometimes you can feel like oh you go into these places it's all dudes it's all dudes dudes music it's dude aesthetic and they can kind of dead out the scene but i think mixing up a little bit is always kind of be the best thing and this um lady anthea uh guy or girl um um i don't care she's a fucking amazing dj and again like i said scan through this entire set and you're just gonna see people losing their mind like i said one of the best um visual at boy rooms you're gonna watch in a long 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 time people just having fun dancing no standing around the guy in the hat here fucking going for it like the whole thing is amazing i recommend you check it out i'll link it to him in the show notes you can check the actual whole set but she fucking smashes it really really good dj man really really good dj so i recommend you check it out again really really cool check that out um anthea at uh boiler room amsterdam dj set but i'll link in the show notes for everyone else that wants to check it